what is more significant, the legacy one leaves behind or the wealth one accumulates. This age-old conundrum finds its place even in the world of mixed martial arts. In the vast universe of MMA, legacy and money often stand at opposite corners. Legacy refers to the indelible mark fighters etch in the annals of the sport, the reputations they build, the records they set, the titles they win. Yet, it's not all about glory and honor. Money, the other side of the coin, ensures fighters financial stability, their families well-being, and their future beyond the ring. Several fighters are willing to risk potential earnings in pursuit of a legacy. They step into the ring with formidable opponents, strive to clinch title belts, and create memorable fights that MMA enthusiasts will talk about for years to come. These fighters have a deep-seated passion for the sport. It's more than a profession for them. It's a stage where they showcase their prowess, test their mettle, and leave a lasting impact on the sport they adore. Recognition is another driving factor. The desire to be remembered and respected fuels these fighters' ambitions. They aim to create a lasting impression through their performances, their thrilling fights, their iconic victories. Achieving greatness in the sport offers a sense of fulfillment that often outweighs financial gain. The joy of overcoming challenges, pushing boundaries, and realizing their potential is a reward in itself. Moreover, legacy is not just about personal glory, it's about contributing to the evolution of MMA. Many fighters aspire to inspire the next generation, set positive examples, and leave a legacy that extends beyond their careers. It's about carving a path that others can follow, a path that might make the journey easier for those who come next. And then, there's the quest for immortality. Some fighters seek to remain in the hearts and minds of fans and fellow athletes long after they've hung up their gloves. They want their legacy to transcend their time in the cage, to make their mark on the sport unforgettable. In the end, the balance between legacy and money is a personal decision for each fighter, influenced by their ambitions, their values, their circumstances. It's a delicate dance, a balance between the tangible and the intangible, the immediate and the eternal. To conclude, fighters who prioritize legacy over money are often driven by passion, a thirst for recognition, personal fulfillment, a desire to impact the sport long term, and the quest for a form of immortality. It's not about choosing one over the other, but about finding that perfect balance, that sweet spot where legacy and money coexist. It's about leaving a mark on the sport while ensuring a secure future. It's about creating a story worth telling, a story of grit, determination, and the indomitable human spirit. Ever pondered why some MMA fighters choose money over legacy? It's a multifaceted question with a myriad of reasons behind it. Let's delve into the main ones, shall we? Firstly, there's the issue of financial stability. MMA fighters grapple with extensive expenses ranging from training costs to medical bills and the simple cost of living. For some, the focus on financial gain becomes crucial to maintaining stability, supporting their families, and safeguarding their future when their fighting days are over. Secondly, there's the matter of short-term goals. Some fighters may be more attracted to immediate financial reward than the long-term investment in their legacy. They could choose fights or strategies that promise larger paychecks, even at the risk of missing opportunities to bolster their reputation. Thirdly, let's not forget about the limited career window. The physical demands of MMA can result in a rather short career span. Fighters may choose to maximize their earnings during their prime years, fully aware that their fighting income has an expiration date. Fourthly, business considerations come into play. MMA isn't merely a sport, it's a business. Fighters might make decisions based on the financial incentives dangled by promoters, sponsors, and potential opponents. They may strategically chase those fights that offer the greatest financial return. 
Next, personal circumstances can be a significant factor. Fighters hail from diverse backgrounds and each has unique personal circumstances. Some may have financial obligations, debts, or family responsibilities that make the allure of the almighty dollar stronger than the call of legacy. Finally, we have outside investments. Some fighters have interests or investments beyond MMA that they prioritize over their fighting legacy. They may view MMA as a stepping stone to fund other ventures or financial goals. To sum it all up, fighters who put money before legacy often do so due to financial considerations, short-term objectives, business opportunities, personal circumstances, and the need to secure their future during and after their MA careers. The balance between legacy and money in MA is a delicate one and varies from fighter to fighter. On one hand, you have fighters who prioritize legacy, striving to leave an indelible mark on the sport by achieving significant milestones, taking on challenging opponents, and contributing to the growth and evolution of MMA. On the other hand, there are those who prioritize money, focusing on maximizing their earnings through lucrative fights, sponsorship deals, and other revenue streams. They prioritize financial stability, ensuring they can support themselves and their families both during and after their fighting days. The balancing act between legacy and money involves weighing the potential financial rewards against the opportunities to enhance one's reputation and leave a lasting imprint on the sport. While some fighters may prioritize legacy early in their careers, others may focus more on financial gains and strategic career moves. In the end, the balance between legacy and money is a deeply personal decision shaped by a fighter's goals, values, aspirations, and individual circumstances. Some may find an equilibrium between the two, while others may lean more heavily toward one aspect depending on their priorities at different stages of their careers. Ever wondered why the lifespan of an MMA fighter's career is often shorter than that of athletes in other sports? It's a question that's been on the minds of many, sparking intriguing discussions about the nature of this physically demanding sport. MMA is a high-intensity combat sport that requires a remarkable level of skill, strength, and endurance. An MMA fighter's career, on average, spans between 5 to 10 years. This duration, however, can fluctuate based on a fighter's skill level, injury history, fighting style, and personal circumstances. Now, compare this to the career span of athletes in other sports. Take football, for instance. A professional football player can expect to have a career lasting around 15 to 20 years. Basketball players, on the other hand, have an average career span of about five years but can stretch up to 15 years or more. So why does an MMA fighter's career tend to be shorter? The answer lies in the intensity of the sport. MMA is a high stakes, physically demanding sport. The intensity of training, the frequency of fights, and the physical demands of the sport can take a significant toll on a fighter's body over time. But it's not all doom and gloom. Advancements in training techniques, sports medicine, and athlete management have the potential to extend the careers of fighters. These advances can allow fighters to compete at a high level for a longer duration, despite the inherent risks of injury and physical wear and tear. However, another debate that often ensues is about the compensation of UFC fighters. Some argue that they are underpaid in comparison to the revenue generated by the organization. They point to the risks and physical demands of their profession, suggesting that compensation should be reevaluated to ensure fair treatment and reward for their efforts. Others, however, believe that the issue is complex with perspectives from both fighters and the organization itself. In conclusion, the career lifespan of an MMA fighter tends to be shorter 
compared to athletes in other sports due to the high intensity nature of the sport and the physical toll it takes on the body. However, advancements in training techniques and sports medicine have the potential to extend a fighter's career. The debate on fighter compensation continues with arguments on both sides about the fairness of pay in relation to the risks and demands of the sport. This fascinating world of MMA continues to evolve and with it the careers of those who step into the ring. Is it possible to put a price tag on legacy? Can the allure of financial gain outweigh the pool of leaving an indelible mark on one's chosen profession? These are questions that professional athletes grapple with throughout their careers. Consider, for instance, the illustrious career of mixed martial arts legend Anderson Silva. His legacy, etched in the annals of UFC history, is a testament to dominance, creativity, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. Silva's focus was never solely on the financial aspect. He seemed driven more by a passion for the sport and a desire to compete at the highest level. Yes, his success brought financial reward, but his legacy is defined more by his contributions to MMA and less by his bank balance. Uh, contrast this with Georges St. Pierre, another MMA titan, a true sportsman. St. Pierre's legacy is a reflection of his skill, athleticism, and unwavering discipline. Like Silva, he too was driven by the desire to be the best, to face and overcome the toughest competition. He earned well throughout his career, but his legacy is not built on his earnings. It's built on his accomplishments, the respect he earned from fans and peers, and his positive impact on the sport. Now let's turn our attention to Khabib Nurmagomedov a fighter whose legacy is characterized by his undefeated career and unparalleled dominance in the lightweight division. Khabib's approach to his career was guided by his love for the sport and a deep desire to honor his family and culture. He prioritized his legacy and personal values over monetary rewards, even going so far as to retire at the peak of his career, rejecting a reported $40 million for a return fight. So what can we glean from these comparisons? It seems clear that while financial gain is a significant part of professional sports, it's the legacy that truly defines an athlete's career. Whether it's Silva's creativity, St. Pierre's sportsmanship, or Khabib's dominance and integrity, these athletes have left an indelible mark on MMA history, proving that legacy is more than just a footnote in their careers. It's the heart and soul of their professional journeys, the true measure of their success. In the end, the balance between legacy and financial gain in professional sports is a personal choice. However, as we've seen with these MMA legends, when the final bell rings, it's the legacy that remains, echoing through the ages long after the cheers have faded. What does it mean to build a balance between legacy and wealth in the world of mixed martial arts? Is it a matter of titles won, records set, or the impact made on the sport? Or does financial gain play an equally important role in defining a fighter's legacy? Consider John Jones a titan of talent and versatility within the octagon. His reign in the UFC light heavyweight division is marked by an impressive series of successful title defenses and victories over some of the greatest fighters in MMA history. Yet outside the cage, Jones's legacy is marred by a string of controversies, raising questions about the true impact of his personal decisions on his professional legacy. Despite his financial success through fights, endorsements, and other ventures, this shadow cast over his personal life often steals the spotlight, creating a complex balance between legacy and financial gain in his career. 
Then there's Conor McGregor, a fighter whose charisma and trash-talking prowess are matched only by his remarkable success in the octagon. As the first fighter in UFC history to hold titles in two weight classes simultaneously, McGregor's legacy is undeniable. Yet his legacy extends beyond the octagon as he leveraged his success to become one of the highest paid athletes in the world. His focus on financial gain is clear, but his legacy is not solely defined by his wealth. His impact on the sport, his ability to transcend MMA, and his contributions to the growth of the UFC are equally significant components of his legacy. Francis' legacy is still being written, but his impact on the heavyweight division of the UFC is already significant. Known for his power and athleticism, Francis' journey from Cameroon to the UFC is a testament to his resilience. Despite earning significant financial rewards through fights and endorsements, Francis' focus is on solidifying his legacy as one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. Although his case is the most debatable, as a lot of people believe he chose money over legacy by leaving the UFC, as he didn't feel valued and believed he could get paid what he was worth somewhere else. Francis has the best MMA contract in history with the PFL and has made more money than he ever made in the UFC with just two boxing fights, although this came with consequences in quote unquote tarnishing his legacy especially since he got brutally knocked out by anthony joshua in his second pro boxing fight we are yet to see how the rest of his mma career plays out his desire to inspire others and make a positive impact particularly in his home country of cameroon further emphasizes the role of legacy in his career in conclusion the balance between legacy and financial gain in MMA is a complex one, influenced by personal decisions, professional achievements, and the impact made on the sport. For fighters like John Jones, Conor McGregor, and Francis, their legacies are not just about the titles they've won, but also about the influence they've had on the sport and their contributions outside the octagon. While financial gain is undoubtedly a significant aspect of their careers, it does not solely define their legacies. What does it mean to be a successful athlete? Is it about amassing wealth or leaving a lasting legacy? This dilemma tugs at the heart of not just combat sports but sports in general where the intersection of passion and profit often leads to complex choices. Let's quickly dive into general examples of sports where the battle between legacy and money wages on. Consider the case of Lionel Messi, one of soccer's most decorated players. When faced with the decision to leave his childhood club, Barcelona, in 2021, Conversely, take boxing legend Floyd Mayweather. He's famously known for his mantra, Money Mayweather. Mayweather has often faced criticism for prioritizing money, even above the sport itself. However, his financial success has provided him with a level of security and independence that few athletes attain. These contrasting examples demonstrate that the choice between legacy and money is not a simple one. Each athlete's decision is influenced by a myriad of factors, from personal values and goals to financial circumstances and career prospects. In conclusion, the battle between legacy and money in sports is a deeply personal one influenced by a multitude of factors unique to each athlete. While some athletes like Messi prioritize legacy, others 
like Mayweather, see the value in financial success, these choices reflect not only the athlete's individual values and goals but also the realities of their respective sports. In the end, the choice between legacy and money is a personal one that each athlete must make. As fans, it's crucial to respect these decisions and appreciate the complexities involved in navigating the world of professional sports. If you found this video insightful and want to hear more about the fascinating world of combat sports, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Catch you guys later.